101. The following question is taken from a chemistry advanced placement examination and is used with the permission of the educational testing service. Solve the following problem. And then they give us this balanced equation. Then they say in a saturated solution of MgF2 at 18 degrees Celsius, the concentration of Mg2 plus was 1.21 times 10 to the negative third molarity. The equilibrium is represented by that preceding equation, but we're on B now. So in B, we have to calculate the equilibrium concentration of Mg2 plus in a 1.000 liter of a saturated MgF2 solution at 18 degrees Celsius, to which 0 0.100 moles of solid Kf has been added. And the Kf dissolves completely. Assume the volume change is negligible. Okay, so I did write the information that we found out from part A. So if you haven't watched part A and you want to find out how we got these values in this equation, just go back to part A if you guys are on the playlist, and that will be all explained to you. But for now, we have to find out that equilibrium constant of Mg2+, and they told us that 0.1 moles of Kf has been added. Now, Kf, maybe if I write it over here, and maybe I'll write it over, that's good. Kf, now it was a solid, but when you place it in an aqueous solution, it will dissolve 100%. Remember, according to your solubility rules, all group one ions are soluble, no exceptions. So Kf is going to be aqueous. And this will break down 100% into its two ions of K plus, and that's a charge, so that's aqueous, and F minus. Now they did say that we started off with 0 0.100 uh, moles of this. Okay. And you can either convert it into molarity now, or you could do that later. I just like to work with molarities. So it was 0.1 moles of a 1.000 liter solution, right? They said that basically no volume change. It was very negligible. If they say anything is negligible, that just means don't worry about it in, you know, nicer terms. But don't worry about it. So let's just get that in molarity. Remember, molarity equals moles divided by liters. So if I have 0 0.100 moles divided by one liter, it's gonna be the same number. So I can just get rid of these moles and just say that now I have 0 0.100 molarity. Use your ratios to find out what's going on with these ions. But in this equation, it's a one to one to one reaction. So whatever you got here, you're gonna have the same amount for K plus. So 0 .0, a 0 0.100 molarity, and the same for the F minus, 0 0.100 molarity. But now they want us to solve for Mg2 plus. That's in this equation, right? How am I gonna get this information over to this equation? Well, this is the common ion. Is there any ion, that's the charge guy, that is the same between these two equations. Yeah, the F minus. F minus in the MgF2 equation and F minus in the Kf equation. So you actually have a starting amount from the Kf, right? I got 0.1. And this now is gonna go for this one. Now don't be tempted. Even though there's two fluorines here, you can't just take this, you know, this molarity and say, hey, now I'm going to times it by two. This is the total molarity you got. The balanced equation coefficients just is in ratios. But as far as what you have, you got to go by the numbers. So this would be 0 0.100 molarity. Now maybe I'll just bring this a little bit. Maybe I'll put this a little bit down. Maybe I'll just move this over a little bit. Put this over here just so that we don't lose it. Okay, beautiful. Now, we still want to find out that concentration of Mg2+, plus, right, in a saturated solution. Now, in this case, since we're trying to find the equilibrium concentration of Mg2+, plus, we don't know what that is. So disregard what they told you before. We're not going to use this, this amount because we have now different criteria. So... I'm just gonna label it what I always do, right? If I don't know what this is, I'm just gonna label it as X. 
and there's a 1 in front of the mg, so this would technically be 1x, but, you know, that's pretty good for now, right? Okay, so let's just plug it in. So Ksp equals mg2 plus times the f minus raised to the second, and we know that the Ksp value, we found that from part A, this one is 7.07, .07, actually 7.09 times 10 to the negative ninth. And this equals mg2 plus, which is x, times 0 0.100, and that has to be squared. So in essence, I could just do 0.1 squared, and I get 0 0.01. So maybe I can just do that. And then just solve for x, I'm going to divide on both sides by 0 0.01. Okay. Ooh, what happened there? Let's see. There we go. This cancels out. I get x equals. This is seven point seven point zero nine times ten to the negative ninth divided by that number to the negative eleventh. Ah, to the negative seventh. Silly me. Seven point zero nine times ten to the negative seventh. And that's molarity. Now, we assumed here, because we didn't add the plus 2x here, so we could always just see the 5% rule, right? Let's see, does this check out for the 5% rule? 5% rule means that you take your x value and you divide it by your initial, so 0.1. If your answer and you multiply this by 100, because it's a percentage, but if your answer is five or less, we assumed correctly, and we can go about our merry way. And when you do that math, I mean, we're way below 5%. So we assumed correctly, and we could just keep that answer. And that is the Mg2+. plus. So calculate the equilibrium concentration of Mg2+. plus. It's the 7.09 times 10 to the negative seventh. And this part is done. Not bad. Okie dokie. So, hang tight for letter C. Uh, it's coming up in a little bit if you're on the playlist. I will talk to you soon, and I hope you guys are studying hard, okay? All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.